Okay, so for those of you who haven't finished your slideshow already, um, this is just a quick tutorial on how to go about making a slideshow using the Photos app that comes with your Mac, unless you have an older Mac, in which case you may have iPhoto, but it works pretty much the same. Um, so if you haven't already imported your photos into Photos, because I know some people are still doing it either on purpose or by accident, although you should be using Bridge, uh, but if your photos are already there, you really just need to find them under the Photos section of your app, and then just choose the ones you want to put in the slideshow. Uh, but if you haven't got them imported into Photos yet, then just go to File, and then Import, and then locate them wherever they happen to be. I'm just going to do this folder of next step photos that I used in class to demonstrate. So I'm just going to click Review for Import. They're all coming in there. Um, it's actually showing me that they're already imported. Uh, but you should see a choice here that will say Import Selected, and you can click on the ones you, you want to import or you can click import all. Uh, I'm not getting that option because I did already import them, but I'm just doing it again for demonstration purposes. So you can either click import all, or you can choose just the ones you want to import from that folder, and then go ahead and click import. And then they'll appear, and I'll say they've been successfully imported. So then it's just a matter of going to the file again, and go down to create slideshow, give it a name, Test number two. The name is what's going to give it the title, so you can change that if you want uh, when you're editing it. So there's your basic slideshow. You can play it or preview it. If you click on the right, you've got some options in terms of the themes. There's a classic one, uh, uh, which will just do nice straight dissolves. The Ken Burns one, where they kind of zoom in and out a bit. Uh, some of the other ones are interesting, origami and sliding panels. Um, those ones I would only use if you have a lot of photos. If you only have uh, eight to ten photos, uh, the slideshow is going to be pretty brief and there is a time limit. I do want you to try and stretch these out a bit so that they're a decent length of slideshow. Um, so choose the one that fits uh, best for your slideshow and you can hit the preview as I said and check out how it's going to go. Um, once you've chosen your slideshow theme, um, you can change that title. So you can just double click where it says the name, um, whichever theme you have, and then just give it a name. And then uh, Put your name as well too, so you can do a break and type underneath that if it allows it on that template. And there's your title and name, so that part of the assignment's done. So once you've uh, got your name of your slideshow and your name on there, um, you can go and choose the music. So there is a built-in theme music for each of the slideshows. If that works for you, you can just keep that. Or if you want to choose one from your library, there's an option here to click on your music library and go searching through your tunes for something that you can use. Uh, but do remember uh, that I did say that um, I want you to use music that is copyright free, so you can't just grab any song out of your library, even if you've paid for it. Uh, you can either use one of the theme ones, or I want you to go to CC Mixture, or one of those websites that I mentioned in class and that are on one of the earlier PowerPoints about copyright, and make sure you have royalty-free music uh, chosen for that. So once you've got your song chosen, you've got your title, you've got your theme set, only the last thing is the duration, so if you click on the little stopwatch below the music icon, there um, you've got your options for speed. Um, you can also change the kind of dissolve, so the way that the pictures melt into the other one. There's a few different options there on some of these ones. Um, you can click to fit it to the music, so as long as your song is playing, it will keep going. Uh, but that depends on the song. Of course, if it's a really long song, your slideshow is going to go very long. Um, if you just click on, if custom is clicked here, it's just going to kind of go until the photos end. And depending on the song, you may also have an option here uh, under theme options where you can click here and you can uh, play each slide for a certain duration of time. Uh, but really, you just want to make sure that you, you reach that line, that time that I've asked for, and that there's enough time for us to, to look at each photo without it moving on too quickly or staying there for, for too long. Um, another thing you may want to uncheck is just this little uh, circular arrow, so the arrow in a, in a square loop here, which is just telling you that it's going to keep looping the slideshow and keep showing it over and over again. That's okay if you want to show it on your um, laptop during the gallery walk on our final day of class, but for the slideshow itself, obviously, you don't want to have that on and have it go forever. I don't think it'll export like that, but that's really more for, for playback if you're just trying to show it to somebody on your computer. But uh, just uncheck that anyway, just for safety. When you're done that, you can go to uh, export it, back under File, Export, Export Slideshow, 
and here you can make sure it has whatever name you want it as, make sure you know where you're saving it to, and then choose the uh, format. So I think it's going to make an M .m4v file, which is fine, and just choose the middle one, uh, high definition 720p, just because it'll look good, but it won't be as dramatically large as a file as it will be if you make it 1080. It'll be a bit easier to drop and easier for me to open up. Then go ahead and click Save, and uh, you're done. Just drop that off. Okay? Thanks.